Founded in 1739 by Jonas Alströmer, Anders Johann von Hopken, Sten Karl Bilke, Karl Linnaeus, Martin Trieuwald, and Karl Wilhelm Sederholm. The Royal Swedish Academy's aim was to devise practical advances in agriculture, forestry, and mining that would benefit the rebuilding of Sweden after the hard times after the wars during its period as a great power. The activities of the academy were focused more towards basic research in mathematics and the natural sciences, laid by the chemist Johns Jacob Berzelius when he reformed its operations in 1820s. Till date. The Royal Swedish Academy promotes sciences of the highest quality by fostering development and innovation in Swedish research by drawing attention to key social issues, examining them in scientific terms and communicating the results. All the while aiming to lead international scientific proponent of sustainable development. Being elected as an Academy member is itself an exclusive recognition of successful research. Outstanding contributions to research are also acknowledged in other ways, such as the many prizes awarded by the Academy namely the Schoberg Prize, the Crawford Prize, the Goran Gustafsson Prizes, the Rolf Schock Prizes, the Soderberg Prize, and Nobel Prizes in Physics and Chemistry and Economic Sciences. Karolinska Institute was founded in 1810 with the aim of educating physicians and undertaking medical research. In the beginning, the staff comprised only six professors, each of whom had one research assistant. Today, the Institute is a prominent international medical university that offers 37 educational programs has 367 professors in residence, and has managed and continues to fulfill its mission to improve health in the population by research, education, and information. Interestingly enough, the prize is given for works within the field of physiology or medicine, not medicine alone. Since physiology in the days of Alfred Nobel implied the preclinical medical sciences and medicine the clinical sciences this makes it possible to consider work within the entire field of experimental medicine, as well as research aimed at curing human diseases. This makes it possible to select prize laureates from all areas of the biomedical field, including related behavioral sciences. Today. It can be said that the current organization of the Nobel work strikes a fair balance between continuity and renewal of the committee as well as of the assembly. However, one might ask whether the scientific competence available at Karolinska Institute will be sufficient enough to cover the Nobel Assembly's need for the expertise required to select Nobel laureates in the future. Fortunately, the organizational structure and procedures which include the possibility to engage international experts, appear to suffice in this respect. Founded in the year 1786 by King Gustav III, as an independent cultural institution, in order to advance the Swedish language and Swedish literature. The Academy has 18 members. It is said that Gustav III originally intended there to be 20, half the number of those in the French Academy, but eventually decided on 18 because the Swedish word for that number had such a fine ring. Election is by secret ballot in the Academy, and before the result is made public it must be submitted to the Academy's patron, the King, for his approval. 
The Academy's main objective is to work for the purity, vigor, and majesty of the Swedish language, that is, its clarity, expressiveness, and prestige. The Swedish Academy also houses a the Nobel Library, a special library dedicated to literature and primarily intended to assist the Swedish Academy in its work but also to support translators and researchers within the Academy's field of interest. Established in 1901, the library has been situated in the premises of the Swedish Academy in the Exchange, Borshuset, in the old town of Stockholm. The Norwegian Nobel Committee was established by the Norwegian Storting in 1897, tasked with selecting Nobel Peace Prize laureates. The Norwegian Nobel Institute Established the 1st of February 1904, was tasked with supporting the Nobel Committee. According to Section 12 of the Nobel Foundation Statutes, each Nobel Institute shall be under the leadership of the prize-awarding body that established it. The director of the Institute is the Nobel Committee's permanent secretary, and the Institute can be regarded as the Committee's secretariat. The events in December are all planned and coordinated through this office. The first few years the Institute rented offices in Victoria Terrace in downtown Oslo. By May 1905 the move was made to the present building in Henrik Ibsen's Gate 51. The awards ceremony was moved there the same year, having previously taken place in the Storting, Norwegian Parliament. The Institute contains offices, a meeting room, the Grand Hall, a research department, library and reading room. The Nobel Committee meets in a special meeting room devoted exclusively to this purpose. The tradition has gradually developed of using the Institute's Grand Hall. Both for the announcement of the year's Peace Prize in October and for the Laureate's press conference on the 9th of December the day before the awards ceremony in Oslo City Hall. The Nobel Institute arranges meetings, lectures, and seminars within so-called Nobel Symposia. The symposia is attended by specially invited academic scholars, experts, and decision-makers from many countries who gather to discuss selected topics. <laughs>